Let's get ready for this YouTube video. Let's get pumped, baby. Bulky, you're not supposed to be recording. Get that off. Alrighty guys, thank you for joining in on Juki Junkies with Gigi's Fabric Shop. Today we're going to be going over the needle clamp assembly. How to replace the needle clamp assembly. This is a common issue we've been seeing with some customers um, that when you take off the needle thread guide, I think it's called, um, the needle clamp assembly will fall off and then it's a little complicated to put back on, especially if you don't have one in front of you that's put together to reference off of. So we just wanted to make this quick video so you could uh, get a reference on how to put this back together. Also, I hope you guys like that skit. I don't actually do that before the videos. We just like to put something funny in the video to make you guys laugh before we start such a serious video. Um, so here we go, let's get started. Alrighty, so we loosened up the needle by just loosening this big screw. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out, just like that. Remember the flat side goes to the right. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and place that over here or actually let's just put that back there and now Everything should stay together. So this this uh, needle clamp assembly shouldn't fall off unless the thread guide is removed Can I say something? Since yes, I've seen it a couple times When you guys unloosen this screw don't too undo it all much, the way. if you do it too much putting your needle back in is gonna be so difficult I've had so many customers this week mention to me. I can't put my needle back in I don't know why and it's because when you unscrew this too much this starts to sag you see that mm -hmm. So it's not making a clear opening. So do not screw it unscrew it too much Yes, I wanted to add that as you notice I literally unscrewed it just enough where I could start pulling on the needle exactly. down And that's all you need you just have to break it You really don't have to loosen it all the way yeah. but for this person Purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it all the way, but not quite yet. I'm gonna actually take off the thread guide right now. Um, and that is just this top screw. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this needle threader so you guys can have a better view of the, the flathead that we're gonna be talking about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this flathead. And this is how you are going to replace the thread guide. Um, pretty much all you're gonna do is just loosen this flathead all the way like this and take that out and then this thread guide just comes completely straight down like that and that's how you're going to replace it so if that were to break you're just going to hold this needle clamp assembly on there so it doesn't all fall apart and then if you want to put this back on pull it to the right a little bit make sure this part this little hook is facing up put it on the right side push it up so it's right there by the screw hole um, and bookie if you come to the right you can kind of see um, right there. There we go. You can see it a little better right there. Oh, oh goodness. Whee. Got it. There we go. Sorry, Sorry for the shaky camera. Screw fell in a weird spot. Okay, got it. Um, okay, so then you're just going to go ahead and put the screw back in there like there that go. and tighten it down all the way. And then that's how you replace your needle guide um, or the thread guide assembly. Now, the needle guide or the needle clamp assembly. Um, if it all falls apart, it could fall apart during this process like this. If this little, it's like a washer almost falls out. If this washer falls out, then this can come off. And now everything is off. So now we have all of these screws. We have two flatheads, this piece right here, which the flathead is on there, right there. And then we have the um, thread, guide. thread guide. And then we have this like washer thing. So now I'm going to show you how to put it back together. Alrighty guys, so now that I have everything disassembled, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put everything back together. So we're going to go ahead and put the needle clamp assembly back together. So I'm going to go ahead and put this big flathead screw back into here. Just make sure that it's about halfway in there or until you can't see it going through the middle of this thing. So you can screw it down almost all the way. Yeah, you can almost screw it down all the way. Okay, and then you can see that there's a little um, ledge inside of this. You're going to want to make sure that ledge is on the front bottom left when you put this on. So it's front bottom left is where the ledge is at. You're going to turn it like this flat and you're going to go ahead and put this on. And there's a groove on this bar and that's where that ledge goes into. So you raise it up and then you pull it to the right. Now when I pull down, it doesn't go down. Um, and then you're going to be grabbing this washer piece um, with the two screw holes in it, as you can see. Uh, you're going to put that facing to the right side of the machine like this. And that's it. Pretty much just like that. Um, and now 
you should be able to let go of everything and everything should stay on there. Now, if you push this to the left, it could all fall off. So I like to go ahead and put my thread guide back on at this point. And like I said, hook facing up with it, with the open side facing towards you and to the right. And you're gonna hold this, pull this to the right, push this up so it's right there, like it's on that screw hole, just like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and put your little screw through the top. I know it's kind of hard to get this on camera, but um, at least you kind of have a good reference on how to do this. So you're gonna have to hold, kind of hold everything together. Yeah, it's a little tricky. There we go. You just like that. Okay, so once that's all together, that's how it's supposed to look. Let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go. So this piece should stay on by itself, and then you gotta put this thread guide on, and then the top screw through the thread guide, and now everything should stay together, nothing should fall apart because um, it's, it's all held in by this top screw pretty much at this point. So now I'm going to tighten this down, not all the way, but just enough where it's not going to move too much. And then now I have everything pretty much assembled again. I'm going to go ahead and put my needle back in right side to the right flat side to the or right. flat side to the right. <laughs> Lots of technical terms here, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good with all the technical terms. It's okay. We not yet. It's, it's a lot visual. of different terms. So now the flat side to the right, tighten down this main screw, and then I can go ahead and snug everything back up. The top one just needs to be hand tight, nothing crazy. So I'm just turning it till it's tight, and then one more little turn, and then the same thing with the bottom one. Just turn it till it's tight, and then maybe just a hair more nothing too crazy it's not going to fall apart if it's hand tight and then everything should be pretty much good to go i'm going to go ahead and put my needle threader back on which is very easy just line up those slots with this bar and push up and everything should be good to go i'm going to go ahead and test it out and everything is perfect needle threader needle up needle down or needle down needle up perfect all righty so that is how you do it. Alrighty guys, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. I hope this video was informative on how to replace the needle clamp assembly and also the thread guide assembly. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to contact us. Boki's gonna go ahead and show you our information to call us. We would be happy to help you, whether it's with questions on your Juki machine or if you're interested in purchasing another Juki machine. Um, feel free to contact us. We are going to be releasing videos every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the little ring notification next to the subscribe button to be notified every time we post. And we're going to probably end up posting a little bit during the week as well. But Sunday at 5 p.m., no matter what, we're posting. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you enjoyed the content. Sorry for, for butchering some of the words. I know it was a little bit hard for me because I'm not really super, um, you know, educated on all the technical terms on the sewing <laughs> machine quite yet. Um, but leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.